the one thing, and this I, I am going to read because I, 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 I thought about it so it comes out better if I read it. Um, there are different areas in which the natives suppressed the wild, surpassed the wildest guesses of the early educational visionaries. And I say the first is about the growing precedence of co-creation over individual construction or personal elaboration. Today's kids don't just act in the world, as Pierre said, or project out inner thoughts and feelings by making things as Papert said. They don't just externalize ideas to make them tangible and shareable, as Seymour said. Today's kids mingle before they make, as I said. They share before they think. They go public before they are done with anything. They, they go public on the most <laughs> private things. And they do so mostly with their peers, whether they are present or absent, and not as Vygotsky had it, by seeking the support or informed and caring adults. Quite to the contrary. O M G A O S means O M G, oh my God, adult over my shoulder. Let's start our conversation. So that's, that's, I mean, for good or for bad, I don't say it's good, I say we see this a lot happening. Um, the, the, the other thing is the notion of copying. The shifting boundary is not just between like me and the others, but between what's mine and what's yours. Where mine ends and where yours begins is different. And what gets in, like read, found, recorded, and what gets out, my own massaging, rewriting, reassembling, re-elaborating, re-editing. This may be partly due to the fact that today's kids belong precisely to multi tribes and multi words. They explore different facets of their plural identity. They take on different personas, which then they are incorporate as a host of voices within. So maybe they get confused. But I think it's very healthy. I think copying is actually the basis for any kind of invention. But it puts a huge toll on educators. When the kids write by just cutting and pasting, the question becomes, how do you teach them to massage what they borrow long enough so that it becomes theirs? Because otherwise, it's just pushing around information in the information highway, and it's not stopping down, making it yours, and then offer a slight variation of your contribution to the others. So my, my reason for being absolutely happy to be in this is that I believe that this little machine would not, would not make it. I mean, it wouldn't even make it a week if some of these insights that we have from the children and from our visionaries and all the thinking we know about how to push the world were not some, somehow, you know, let's say ideas that we think have a, some ground in. Because this thing is so different from the laptops that we are used, that it would be absurd to come out with a thing like this, and not just a laptop, whether it be a Macintosh or, or not, or, or, or you know, another product. This can only fly among people who really believe that the kids are going to just appropriate this in ways that will be helpful to them and that will help us all shape the future in, in new ways. Otherwise, it wouldn't make any sense. So this is why I think this grounding, grounding is kind of important to, you know, to, to, to just make explicit some of the ideas and having them in the conversation. Thank you.